My name is Kelly Donahue and I work for the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, Division of Oil and Gas Resources Management. I work with our Orphan Well Program, the team in charge of investigating, researching, preparing and ultimately plugging Ohio's old oil and gas wells. An orphan well is an abandoned oil and gas well that has no owner, so the state of Ohio steps in to plug the well. Many of these wells were drilled decades ago. Some are more than 100 years old. They were drilled before Ohio even had laws and rules regulating where a well could be drilled and how it should be built. Over time, the owners of these wells went bankrupt or even passed away, and the state is left to ensure the well is properly plugged. Orphan wells are located all over Ohio, in fields and woods, cities and towns. We've even found and plugged a well underneath an elementary school gymnasium. Around a thousand wells have met all of Ohio's requirements to become an orphan well in the orphan well program, but there are about 20,000 more documented that we have to do a little bit more research on to determine if they're actually orphan wells. Hi, I'm Austin Guttridge, an inspector with the Orphan Well Program. I have many rules here, including orphan well investigations. That means spending a lot of time outdoors trying to find orphan wells. Sometimes it's pretty obvious, like a pipe sticking out of the ground, or even old oil and gas equipment like tanks and pump jacks. We'll mark the well, document its location, and score it. We're trying to determine if the well poses any immediate risk to public health and safety or the environment. If it does, ODNR has an emergency program where we work to plug the well as soon as possible. For example, a well was found to be leaking in Southeast Ohio, so we got to work and immediately contained the leak. Then we mobilized a contractor who plugged the well as quickly as possible. Field inspectors like myself spend a lot of time with landowners to learn as much as possible about a well and its history so we can gather as much information as possible for our coworkers to do the research required by Ohio law. Hi, I'm Mary Ann Shank with the Orphan Well Program. I'm responsible for following state law by determining that a well has no responsible owner. There are several steps we complete for each well, including researching the history of the well and notifying the owner of the land where the well is located. Sometimes my work can get a little bit in depth, but it's very important to determine that a well has no owner before entering the orphan program. I'm Chris Roser, an engineer with the Orphan Well Program. Once a well is put into our program, the team researches the well to determine how it should be plugged. Our goal is to develop a plan called a plugging plan the contractor must follow to plug the well. ODNR designs plugging plans, and we also hire outside companies to do the work. If records exist from when the well was drilled, plugging plans can be developed pretty quickly. Other times when records are lacking and information is limited, we have to work even harder to develop a plan that accounts for everything. It's harder because things were done a little differently 75 to 150 years ago, and conditions may have deteriorated over time. While plugging wells, we've encountered wells with tree trunks, cannonballs, and other debris inside. Needless to say, our job can be pretty interesting. I'm Jason Zimmerman, an engineer with the Orphan Well Program. ODNR has grown the program over the last several years to ensure that we can plug as many wells as possible with the funds that are available. Once the plugging plans are designed, we put the wells together into what's called packages that can be put out for bid. Qualified contractors review each package and submit their offer. ODNR reviews these offers and then awards the work based on the lowest price and the most responsive offer. Once awarded, the contractor is responsible for doing the work to plug the wells. The division has another program called the Landowner Pass-Through Payment Program. If a landowner wants to take an active role in the plugging of a well, the state, with the right approvals, will pay the cost of plugging an orphan well on their property. The bottom line is we've grown our program to offer multiple options so Ohio can plug as many wells as possible. My name is Ben Harpster, a regional manager for the Orphan Well Program. A lot of people ask what it means to plug an orphan well. It's more than just putting a cap on a pipe. A lot of work goes into sealing these wells off below ground and restoring the land at the surface. 
First, workers prepare an orphan well at the surface by stabilizing the area around the well. Then they flush or clean out the well bore and pump cement into the well to seal off the rock formations from where oil and gas was produced or may be present. The cement keeps oil and gas in the ground, protecting ground and surface water from potential contamination. ODNR regularly inspects orphan well plugging operations to ensure that the wells are plugged according to Ohio law and rule and will not pose risk to Ohioans in the future. Hi, I'm Eric Fendel, Chief of the Division of Oil and Gas Resources Management. Ohio's Orphan Well Program is one of the most well-funded and organized in the country. We strive each and every day to protect public health, safety, and the environment and to conserve our natural resources for generations to come. I hope our team was able to teach you more about what we do. To learn more or to report a well on your property, please visit oilandgas.ohiodnr.gov.